Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to extend the root file system, in other words, slash sysroot on Red Hat OpenShift Core OS using the grow part utility. So before jumping to the increasing the root file system, let's quickly understand what is grow part utility. So grow part is one of the utilities to extend the last partition of the disk to fill the available free space on the disk. Let's say within our core OS operating system, we have a disk size 100 GB. If you plan to increase to the 200 GB. So the last partition is 100, it will increase to the 200 size using grow part utility. So it changes the sector position to the end sector of the disk. It's only extend the last partition. It doesn't create or delete any existing partition using grow part utility. And it can be run online. There will be no guest OS restarted if the core OS is running on a virtual machine. Okay, so now let's start with the key concept. So how to extend your root file system. So first of, all, first of all, as we are aware, our lab environment is running on a, our Red Hat OpenShift running on VMware vSphere platform that is on a virtual machine level. So first we have to increase the disk size at virtual machine level. So let me log into the lab system. Let's say within our lab system, we have one of the cluster is running with OpenShift container platform and there is a one helper node. There are three master nodes, three worker nodes. Suppose if I select one worker node, this worker node disk is one terabyte. And suppose second worker node, this size is 120 GB. And the third worker node is size is one terabyte. So maybe we have to plan to increase the second worker node. It's currently running with 120 GB disk. So we are planning to increase to the same like other worker node, we are planning to increase to the one terabyte. So generally in vCenter level, if you want to increase, we can right click the virtual machine, go to the edit settings and we can increase the disk space. Before increase, we will also observe the same sizing differences within our Red Hat OpenShift console. So log into Red Hat OpenShift console and go to the under administration tab, we have a two options, administrator and developer view. Go to the administrator view. Under administrator view, select the compute and we can select the nodes. We can see the node configuration. We have a three masters, three workers. Currently, we are planning to increase the root file system on one of the Red Hat OpenShift worker node. This worker node running with the core operating system. Okay, so let's say the core three workers, one worker is running with a one terabyte size file system and even the another worker also running with approximately one terabyte size but another one of the out of three one of the workers still running with approximately 120 gb disk so this worker we are planning to increase even when we see from openshift web console it is still showing as approximately 120 gb so this disk only we are planning to increase so before increasing on guest os level first we have to increase on the vm level so how we can increase right click the vm go to the edit settings and select the hard disk so let's say our uh, verify the hard disk size is thick provisioning and it is running with 120 gb so just change the units to terabyte and change remove 120 and make it as one and once you select the one let's say i just make it as one tb okay so when you select the 1TB, it is still showing as error message. That means some scenarios, this is one of the expected behavior. So only thing is we can take the virtual machine powered off and then we can increase. That is also another option. So let me cancel. So right click the virtual machine. We can just go to the power, shut down guest OS. So shut down guest OS means it can take a while to power off the virtual machine. So we can also monitor the virtual machine Red Hat Core OS powering of status from the virtual machine console.
Okay, so it's reached the power of state. So let me refresh the console. Yeah, currently worker node is power off. Now right click the VM, go to the edit settings and change the unit to one terabyte and click on OK. So when you click on OK, again recheck terabyte and changing the size to one TB. Okay, it is saying the message says the disk capacity specified is greater than the amount of available on the data store. So that means our data store is running with the low space. Uh, there is an unused virtual machines within our console. So let me clean up those so that we'll get the necessary free space. So I'm just trying to clean up the unused world virtual machines so that we'll get the enough free space to increase the disk size from 120 GB to one terabyte. So I'm just powering off unused virtual machines to get the additional free space. So to delete, just right click the virtual machine, delete from disk. So same way for other virtual machines. Okay, some cleanup is completed and we'll try to increase now. So select the worker node, power of worker node, go to the edit settings and try to increase to one terabyte. Now click on okay. So this time we have the enough free space. So there is no error message. We have managed to increase to hard disk to one terabyte. So just click on power on. Once the Red Hat Core OS is power on, we can log into the guest OS and try to increase the partition. Okay, power on is already initiated. So just open the console and refresh. So booting up is in progress. So we have to wait here for a while until it boots up completely. Okay, currently this node is in, booting is still in progress. And remember that our worker node ends with 4RX. Even here also 4RX currently in the not ready state. Reason is uh, still it is booting up. And if you want to verify the status from the command line, log into our one of the OC, OpenShift container platform helper VM. Let's say helper VM IP address is 23 ends with. So select to that helper VM three. And when you type here, OC get nodes, we can see here also worker node is not ready state. So we need to wait until it's completely boot up and make sure worker should be ready state. We can also refresh from OpenShift console. Okay, let me select this worker node, open console. So booting up is in progress.
in the meantime i will just explain you the slide items so the first step is increase the virtual machine disk level so this part just now we completed but only the key thing is uh, make sure that our data store must have enough free space before increasing the file system size so vm level currently we have 120 gb initially and we are planning to increase to 120 gb to any of the size but for testing purpose i increased the same like other worker node size i increased to one terabyte so one terabyte there is no enough space so i did the some cleanup of unused virtual machines and we have managed to increase the size from 120 gb to one terabyte so once we increase to one terabyte we managed to bring up the red hat openshift worker node which is running with core OS. Okay, currently core OS build up, uh, booting up is in progress. Once it is boot up completely, the reboot of the virtual machine to update the changes, this step also completed. And then we have to validate the LSBLK. That means this command we have to run once we connect to our worker node. When we connect to the worker node, we can type the command LSBLK. This means list information about all available disks or specific block devices. That is the result when we type this command. Okay, We will type this command once the worker node boot up completed. Let me log in and verify. So we can go to the console and refresh here. So it's boot up completed. And even here also you can see it's completed. See, it's detected state. And we'll also refresh on our OpenShift console. So you can see the here still the disk size is showing as yes, 120 GB only. So worker node is in the ready state. Even we can verify from the command line. You can type OC get nodes. Earlier we can see it is in a not ready state. Now the OC get node, whatever the node we restarted, it is in the ready state. So now the command is we have to connect to this specific worker node. In order to connect that, we can type OC get node space hyphen O wide to verify this worker node IP address. See, our worker node ends with CL4RX. So the same worker node, we can see what is IP address assigned. See, the IP address assigns ends with 104. So we are going to connect to this IP address. So the command to connect to this core voice is, we can type the command SSH. We are going to SSH to this specific worker node. So SSH space core at the rate and we have to type this IP address, worker node IP address, 192.168.243. and 104. When you type this IP address and enter, it will redirect it to the, our worker node. Okay, see, let me clear the screen. See, this is our worker node. Currently, it is showing the dollar sign. That means it's not in the administrative prompt. In order to get the administrative prompt, we have to type the command sudo space su hyphen. So we are switch user to the administrative prompt. Okay, now we are in the administrative prompt. We are good to verify the run the administrative commands. Let's say first we have to verify the disk space information, lsblk. This command will give you the list information about all the available block devices. So when you see here, still our block device device is SDA4, it is still showing as 120 GB only, but it's not yet reflect the one terabyte size in our Red Hat Core OS guest OS level. So what we can do is another command also we can use to validate the disk space. That is F disk command. You can type F disk space hyphen L command or you can type even when you type F disk space hyphen L command, we can see currently SDA device is detected with one terabyte. But our our actual SD4 slash DEV SDA4 partition is still showing root partition still pointed to the 120 GB only. So we are going to increase this space right now. So as I mentioned, in order to increase this space, what is the recommendation is we have to use grow part utility command. So grow part utility command will help us to increase this root partition size from 120 GB to one terabyte size. So let me type the grow part command. So command is direct straight away. You can type grow part and slash dev slash sda space four 
the because our root policy system, uh, file system running under device four. So when you type this command, press enter, so that if you see the partition size is changed. It is changed the partition size from old size to it's updated with a new size. But to validate this one before that, Red Hat recommend to unshare the mount partition, we have to remount the partition. So run the command unshare hyphen hyphen mount. So when you unshare, again, we have to mount the command partition so we have to mount space hyphen wo and we have to remount so command is remount and rw space our root partition so sys root okay when you type this command it will mount it the partition so in order to grow our disk uh, root root file system size we have to use the one more command xfs for the grow file system so you can type the command grow fs and space we have to type sysroot okay now it will increase the partition size to one terabyte again to validate either we can use fdisk space hyphen l command or we can type lsblk command so let's say fdisk space hyphen l when you type fdisk space hyphen l now the partition size increase to one terabyte if you see earlier the partition size is only one gb but now the partition size is 120 gb sorry 120 gb now partition size is equivalent to one terabyte okay now to this is the command line verification even if you want to validate from the graphical level uh, i will show you even when you type lsblk command you can see now the size is increased to one terabyte and back to the our open shift console web console here it is showing now is one terabyte size let me refresh just for double confirmation see all the three workers now with one terabyte and the second worker only we increase just now okay so it's equivalent to one terabyte okay this is how we can increase our red hat core OS root file system using grow part utility. So let's quickly recap the commands. We use list list of block devices command. And another command is grow part is the utility we use slash dev sda. Our device number is four, okay? And if you suppose in case if your device number is different number, you can use the same number. And we unshare the mount. And again, we mount and remount the root file system. And finally, we run the command growfs command, xfs underscore growfs space slash sysroot. And finally, we validated using lsblk command. And we also validated using fdisk space hyphen l command. And finally, we validated the size from the OpenShift web console as well. Okay, hope you understand how we are going to extend the root file system on Red Hat OpenShift core OS level using the Go grow part utility. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.